Here we go again. Sir Jim Ratcliffe will have to wait a little longer for his 25% investment in Manchester United to become official. The 71-year-old has been granted approval from the Premier League for his investment in the Reds, having first struck a deal with the club back in December, but is now just waiting for the FA to sign off on the deal. Ratcliffe has been seen at Old Trafford since the new year, and will be hopeful his deal can soon be wrapped up, enabling him to turn his attention to addressing priority issues. Here there is a roundup of the latest news relating to the INEOS chief and his involvement with United. So, Ratcliffe handed new United deadline. Manchester United have released an update on Sir Jim Ratcliffe's 25% investment in the club, INEOS. Sport officially announced that it had agreed to purchase a minority stake in the football club in December. Ratcliffe has already attended a Premier League game at Old Trafford and made a number of decisions off the pitch, but the takeover remains subject to FA approval. The deadline for the takeover, which will see Ratcliffe purchase of 13 millions, 800,000, shares of United, was originally set for midnight on February 14th, Eastern Standard Time given United Shares trade in New York. However, the club have confirmed that the INEOS owner has had his deadline extended to midnight on February 17th. Meanwhile, Ratcliffe is said to have set his sights on making Michael O'Lees his first summer signing for United. The Crystal Palace winger has scored six goals and provided three assists in 11 Premier League appearances this season, though has been absent for several matches due to injury. Olise signed a new contract with the Eagles during the summer, amid interest from Chelsea, though clubs are expected to come calling for his services again at the end of the season. CBS reported Ben Jacobs, speaking to Give Mesport, has claimed, all indications are that Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos will endorse a move for the 22-year-old, which would represent a major coup should the Red Devils get a deal over the line, again and again. Manchester United want to wait before deciding on whether to offer Rafael Varane a new contract. Varane, 30, is out of contract in June, after United declined to trigger the one-year extension in his deal, but he has started in nine of the past 11 games. It is understood United partly want to delay a decision amid planned structural and personnel changes as the INEOS group prepares to complete its 25% stakeholding in the club, INEOS want to appoint a new sporting director, while there has been uncertainty over Eric Ten Hag's position as manager this season, but United have won their past four games. Varane had no intention of leaving United during the January transfer window and wanted to see out his four-year contract. United miscommunicated the expiry date of Varane's deal when he joined the club from Real Madrid in 2021. Ten Hag confirmed last week United had not decided whether to keep Varane or fellow center half, Johnny Evans. Evans, 36, has already played 20 times for United this term, starting 13 times. Goalkeeper Tom Heaton's deal runs out in the summer, and United could release fullback Brandon Williams, who is on loan at Ipswich Town, but has not played since December. United are also in no rush to address Scott McTominay's future amid his match-winning exploits this season. McTominay, 27, is technically out of contract next year, but United have the option of an additional year to tie him to the club until 2026. Provided McTominay is still at United under the same terms, the extension will inevitably be triggered due to the Scots' key squad status and resale value. McTominay has scored a career-best eight goals for United this season and netted winners against Brentford, Chelsea, and Aston Villa in the Premier League. Meanwhile, Rio Ferdinand has compared Kabi Menu to Holland legend Clarence Seedorf. The ex-United defender said, I'm not saying he's of the same ability or that he's that player yet, but he gives me Seedorf vibes. The way he maneuvers in tight situations and the way he manipulates this ball and uses his body at times. He shifts it, pops it through legs, beautiful. He's elusive at times as well, and the control and the awareness to pick his spot. Some players see the headlines there and think, I'm going to go for it, but he just caresses it again and again. Manchester United Loney Facundo Pellistri became the youngest player to score and assist away at Barcelona since Samuel Etoo in April 200, according to Opta. 
His agent had criticized Eric Ten Hag in the lead-up to the match and suggested the Dutchman had not given Palistri enough chances. He starred in the 3-3 draw, despite Granada being second bottom of the league, with Barcelona sitting in third. Meanwhile, Kobe Mainu could still play for Ghana as he is keeping his options open, according to reports. The midfield star has represented England at youth level, and pressure is growing on Gareth Southgate to include him in his next squad. The player is also eligible to represent Ghana, and according to the Daily Mail, is in no rush to announce his allegiance just yet. He might be tested on that when Gareth Southgate announces his next England squad in March. On the other side, fans were shocked to discover that Manchester United legend Gary Neville hands out Man of the Match awards based on player stats. Harry Maguire picked up the prize for his performance against Aston Villa on Sunday during United's 2-1 win. That left some fans baffled with Roy Keane also skeptical of Neville's selection. But it has come to light that Neville uses key match stats to pick his man of the match, and Maguire came out on top in several key areas. No United player made more passes or won more duels. Maguire also won the most aerial duels and assisted Rasmus Hodgland's opener using his head. The 30-year-old ranked second in tackles made and even made the most entries into the final third, elsewhere. Manchester United have received a transfer boost in their pursuit of Bayern Munich star Matthijs De Ligt, as he is reportedly unhappy in Germany. De Ligt's future at Bayern is in doubt, having fallen down the pecking order under manager Thomas Tuchel. The centre-back has made just 11 starts across all competitions this season, as Diot Upamecano and Kim Minjai are the preferred defensive pairing. It has led to reports claiming the Netherlands international is unhappy with his lack of playing time. There has also been suggestions that the 24-year-old's relationship with Tuchel has become strained and he could therefore push to leave this summer. The Dutchman was an unused substitute as Bayern lost to title rivals, Bayer Leverkusen 3-0 on Saturday, again and again. Gary Neville says Manchester United are still not great, despite continuing their winning run at Aston Villa, while Roy Keane says Eric Ten Hag's side have got away with it in their recent results. Scott McTominay's late header in the 2-1 victory made it five wins and one draw from six matches in all competitions in 2024, with United now five points behind fifth-placed Villa in a major boost to their Champions League hopes. Sky Sports pundit Neville says, United do have what it takes to finish above Villa in fifth, with Tottenham a point ahead of Unai Emery's side in fourth, but has played down the recent revival. They can claw it back, said Neville about United's Champions League ambitions. They've been appalling in the first half of the season. They've lost so many matches, it's untrue. If they keep their players fit, which is a big question mark because it looks like they've lost another two with Lissandro Martinez and Luke Shaw in the past week, they have got a chance. Because of course they are better when they have their strength in their team. All teams are when they have their players back. The front three look more settled with Marcus Rashford, Alejandro Garnacho, and Rasmus Hoyland, with Bruno Fernandes in behind. They're better than they were, but they're still not great. They concede so many chances, they don't really have any patterns, they don't control games or keep possession better than the other teams, but they do have players who can win matches. They are an odd bunch, I've said that for a few years, they play in moments during matches.